Young Falong, K Global, here with the one and only yeah, L O E Gino. Yeah. What's going on? Appreciate you sliding, bro. Buddy. Thank you for having me. You've been going crazy. I <laughs> appreciate it. Just drop, you just dropped some merch and a tape. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about uh, the tape. Everything's going to be all right. Tranquilo. Yeah, everything's going to be good. Um, I mean, for real, like, yeah, I dropped the project, I dropped the merch, and I'm dropping like a bunch of this content and stuff like that, but it's really just like the beginning for everything that I'm about to do. Um, so like the project is doing really, really well. Like I got like a good ass reaction to it. Bro, I seen who posted you, uh, someone big. Double XL posted. Double XL, yeah, yeah. yeah double XL get that. How did you, yeah, yeah. you, 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 you get that? I have no fucking clue, bro. I almost crashed my car when I you seen got a that. manager or something. Or no, that, no, <laughs> no I got that. Crazy, they just posted bro. that shit. Yeah, I was hella happy. I seen um, that. Now I'm appreciative oh, yeah, let's too, go, brother. That's yeah, was fucking awesome, man. Well deserved too. The album slaps. Appreciate it. You've been it, going brother. crazy. I see like, I'm kind of new to your stuff, mm -hmm. but I see that you've been in the game for hella long, bro. Yeah. I see like videos with. Hella thousands of views, hella back in the day, mm -hmm. six, four, five years ago and shit. Yep. Still going crazy in the slap. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's all a growing process. So, like, then until now, it's just been nothing but um, ironing out the kinks. Hell you yeah. feel me? And um, just staying consistent with trying to do that, um, trying to grow, trying to just, yeah, stay, stay, stay true to myself and also just do what the fuck I love to do. Hell yeah, hell yeah. How long have you actually been making music? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I'll give it six years. I basically dropped like my first real full project uh, in 2018. So six years. Nice. Yeah. That's the same five as and a half. Same, for right? real? Yeah. Starting 2018 yeah, as well. Yeah. Five and a half. Five and a half. Six years. Hell yeah. yeah it's been longer though. It seemed like it took me so long to even to get to that point. Any breaks in between and shit? Yeah. Or nah, you've been on the on yeah. Club? I've been, I, I for sure have dropped at least one project every year, Hell since yeah. then. or at least something. I for sure, whether that's dope as fuck. Whatever. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, who are your musical influences right now? <laughs> Shit, I don't got no musical influences. I really got, um, life is like a big musical influence, but like not necessarily no other artists. Um, let's you, say, like, uh, what inspires you outside of music? Uh, my son a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, navigating like fatherhood, also just things that I've seen in my life. You feel me? Um, how old is your son? He just turned two. He's like two and a. That's dope. Two and a quarter. Congrats on that, father. Yeah, life. yeah, I'm yeah. Trying yeah. to get get into that. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I'll be careful what you ask for. <laughs> no, nah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, no, nah, it's dope, bro. It's I beautiful. It. It's beautiful. I think. Um, I'm getting old. Shit. It it um it really changed the way that I approach things. Um, you know, like. There's like no playing around in my in in my day no more. You feel me? Everything yeah. is like super super serious. I'm always I'm um, trying to grow just because that's what he deserves. Yeah. You feel me? That's dope. So as yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. And I'm like a real fool. Like I'm a, I be in the trenches with my son. Like I really, you know, like changing diapers and shit every day. Stuff that you're supposed to do, but I have him. You know, every single day at some point for sure. How is it juggling um, being a father and musician uh it hasn't been crazy hard just because um i don't live like no crazy ass like rapper lifestyle you feel me like yeah um shit a lot of the stuff that i'm able to do i'm able to do like at home you feel me it's times like today where i gotta like drive like you know or be out be out the house for a good chunk of the night but it's not really crazy, crazy hard. Like it's it's not as hard as I thought I was. It was gonna be when um when you feel me. I first found out that I was having a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's easier than what you thought it was. I wouldn't say easier, but I, I didn't think that I'd be able to handle it, and yeah. I can. You feel that's, me? That's that's dope. Yeah. It's not. It's hard though, but it's just like I'm built for it. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, for <laughs> sure. Because I be thinking the same thing. Sometimes I think I'm like, damn, how would I juggle like? Having a kid with this not crazy lifestyle, yeah. but a, maybe a busy or like, you know. I think it's like, so my son is extremely important to me, right? Um, but music is also extremely important to me. And um, it's just, you, you got to just find pockets of time for both. Hell yeah. Yeah, you got to just find find time. You go get him in sense. the studio when he's ready to go. Right, he's been in the studio since, yeah. he's been in the studio since he was two weeks old. <laughs> he's yeah. been in that one for sure. That's dope as Yeah, fuck. I have him in there all the time. Hell yeah, that's raw as fuck. Yeah, some of those takes, some of those songs you could hear, 
If I nah, we could we did a good job with mixing and stuff like that. But you'll be able to hear him laughing and shit in the yeah, back. Certain huh? speakers, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. this full going mm-hmm. around or whining. I'm like, yeah, it's hella funny. I, yeah. I, I, I think that adds to music a little bit. Yeah, back. for I, sure. It's, it's no people can't really pick up on it. Except yeah, nah, you. hell no, nah, right? Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think um, we've gotten anything in there, but this for sure takes in those sessions with him. With yeah, him in there for sure, for surely. Um, so, how long were you working on that la- last project? Mm. Do you think it's your best piece of work so far? Uh, I don't know. I think that's what's dope about art. You feel me? I feel like that's subjective. Um, you know, it's crazy. Like people really, really loved my first two projects, like a lot more than, or I've seen like a way better reaction to my first two projects, and then everything else. And then this feels like the same as those first two, if that makes sense, reaction wise. But um, every single project, I, I'm able to tell that, you know, the music is getting better and better and better oh, yeah. and better. Um, so it's just interesting. I think it really just kind of depends on, like, time and, and um, where the world is at, where people are at in their lives when they're receiving the music. Um, I don't know how long I was making the project. I ain't going to lie. I kind of really just had all of the songs. Yeah. And then um, I, was, I was planning my year out, and I was like, yeah, bro, I got to drop a project, like, I have this whole year planned, um, and this is just the beginning. So, oh, like, yeah. I basically was like, all right, well, you know, what songs do I want to kind of start the year with? And this is it. So you're that sitting on, like, a vault of unreleased. Yeah, for sure. Now, shit, I made How many three songs last week. That's not out? Like, yeah, do you have, like, another project already lined up? Do you yeah, have... I'm, yeah, I'm dropping a project next month. Hell yeah, yeah let's for go. Sure. And the month after, and probably the month after. But, um, crazy. Mm-hmm. But I... I I don't know. I for sure got over 50 songs. Let's go. Yeah, that's what's up. That's not easy, sure. bro. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's also, I don't even, I also work full time too. Yeah. So like, that's, I'm like finding time just to, to, I hope I don't get fired for this, but I be pulling up, I drive a truck. Like yeah. A, a delivery semi truck. Okay. I be pulling up to, I be pulling up to the studio while I work, <laughs> knocking out a song and then leaving like 20, 20 minutes. You gotta minutes. do what you gotta do, bro. Yeah, I'm already sure. knowing. I work full time as well and it's a, uh, I think it's important for us to say that more and make mm-hmm. it more normalized. Artists, mm-hmm. it's okay. You don't have to be a starving artist or you don't have to be a, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be full time all the time. You're still making plays and making this shit happen while yeah. working a full time job. Right. Me as well. I, shit, I didn't get the starving artist. Same, bro. And I feel like I work more while I have a job because you're getting funds. Yeah. Like when mm-hmm. I was did, like I, you know, living on your girl's couch, living on your mom's couch, and fucking, you know. Bro, that shit is dead. Dead. Like especially as. And you don't get the influence, and your music doesn't sound. Yeah, no. Nah, like so, so one thing that I realize is like, um, my livelihood. My livelihood is like really like my foundation. So like that has to be straight, you feel me, in order for me to approach anything else. Yeah. Um, just because it hasn't been in the past and during those times it was always like the hardest times for me to do anything. Yeah. You feel me? So like, I mean shit, I have a, a family in California, like and I I mean I, I run a business, but I'm in the investing stages of the business. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I got to work. Yeah. You feel me? Like, for sure. No, for sure, yeah, for, sure. Like, for sure. I just think it's good to be, that you, you mentioned it because it mm-hmm. does need to be normalized a little bit. Tell me a little bit about your business. Um, are you referring to your clothing line? Just music in general. Hell it's yeah. A business. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the clothing is a part of it. Because your clothing, well. the Sufi, yeah. right? That mm-hmm. shit's hard as fuck. I fuck Appreciate with that, bro. That shit's yeah. hard. Appreciate I, I it, buddy. It. Appreciate it. Yeah. I can see that popping for Shelly, bro. Yeah. Talk yeah. a little bit more about that, how it got inspired and where, where, where you're at. Um, I was just talking to one of the homies, um, and we, I don't know. I knew I, it was, I know it's always good to like leave an imprint. You feel me? As like an artist, <laughs> it's always good to leave an imprint. And so I, something I've wanted to do, didn't have like a name or a vision for anything. And, um, I was talking to one of, one of the homies and basically it got brought up that you needed to show up for yourself. Right. And I was like, damn, that's just it just super, super stuck with me. And um, I just kind of was looking back on my on my journey, you know, as an artist at that time. And I was like, <clears throat> I'm like adding like over this course of time, I'm like adding people. You feel me? People falling off, people catting, mm-hmm. people coming, being super, super motivated, moving off of motivation, but not being disciplined. Um, I, but at the end of the day, it always falls on me. You yeah. feel me? Because this is what I love and what I want to do. So 
And I feel like you could apply that to damn near anything. You got to show up. You got to show up for yourself, for sure. That's in business, but it's also the same thing in life. Like, um, well-being is, like, really, really important to me. Oh, yeah. You feel me? And it's not something that's just going to happen. So um, a lot of people, we dealing with, like, a lot of different stuff that's... Um, I think people think that when looking from the outside in for someone that has it all together, I have in the past myself, and mm -hmm. my life's fucking in shambles and I'm like like this for us is so easy like yeah so easy. it's yep. it's, it's not it's, it's not usually not yeah that that's why I, I really like what you just said like yeah I appreciate that's it. facts uh, um so like everybody dealing with stuff you know everybody got stuff that's like weighing them down or like affecting their mental and and um to be conscious of it and to work on it you just got to show up and do the work like it ain't it's nothing in between you just you have to approach it head on and only you could do it you know, it's like somebody like, if somebody, when you give someone advice, they have to be able to take that advice. You know, you could, you could be leading them in the right direction, but if they don't want to actually um, push themselves in that right direction, yeah. then you're wasting your breath. They have to do it for themselves. They got to show up for themselves. Straight up. Well said. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your recording process. Like, are you, are you going to the studios? Are you, are you recording at home? I don't have a studio. I don't have a home studio. So that's why it's tough for me to <laughs> like get features and stuff done for people. Like that's something that people don't really realize. But do you, um, do you um, have you in the past? Like, do you know how to navigate it or do you just stick with the engineer? So before I really became an artist, I, I kind of started off recording my partners, mm -hmm. like in Berkeley and stuff like that. Um, I do know how, but like I've kind of, I feel like I've like gotten a little too comfortable in the shell of just being, you know, the person that shows up and rap and yeah. let the engineer do what they do. Um, so yeah, like my recording process though, it's <laughs> like I really, I really like am like a one-two take person. Like I, I literally will create a song, like full song, three verses, two hooks, um, in one take. Crazy. Yeah, like off that's the, off the dome. No, nah, hell no. I gotta write. So I, I basically, so basically, um, and it stems from me not having enough money for studio time. Yeah. So when I go to the studio, it's literally yeah. like all business, and I'm ready. Fuck you feel yeah. me? And it just kind of translated to, um, I know like I, I'm in a solid situation, but now, but I know in the past, like engineers hated me because I'm like, yeah, bro, I only need an hour. Yeah, and you knock out five tracks. I knock out three to five songs, and they Hell just like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, nigga, you One just paid. Takers, that's, that's, yeah. I feel like, as an engineer, though, like, like I'm a producer, and I, I know, like, to land some placements, I got an engineer. I love it when artists come in ready to go, bro. Yeah. Instead of catching a vibe and writing. Yeah. Like, that yeah, shit takes for... I've been like, in studio sessions for fucking yeah that's my 12 hate hour that studio so sessions much, bro. like bro like, I, I love when artists come in ready yeah. to work when i bro when i when i when i'm in the studio it's literally like and it just come from like that fight or flight like all right um i don't have enough money to be here yeah. you feel me like i don't have enough money to be my here, last 40 bro. bucks yeah, yeah so i gotta get this shit done and um i've just carried that along and so it's cool now like my engineer now he appreciates it shout out right. to Chico. but um, if it's like an engineer that's like charging you 75 an hour, yeah. you feel me? You come and you record and fucking, you record two songs in 30 minutes. It's like, well, nigga, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like what the hell? Like, yeah. nah, I'm missing out on money. Because, yeah, straight up. Yeah. That's what's up though. What about um, for your for your lyrics, writing wise? How do you come up with that? Uh, Is bro, I, um, I really like recently. It used to be like a real, real strenuous thing. I used to overthink a lot, right? Um, I kind of moved towards the space to where I just really kind of go wherever I get led creatively, um, no matter what. You feel me? Like, yeah. and then and then you could always go back and adjust later. But um, I don't. I try to basically make the process as simple in my mind as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, to where it's just like I'm not overthinking it no more. Yeah. And it's been helping the fuck out of me. Like I've been producing more music or like getting more music done now than I ever have in my entire career. Hell yeah. yeah for sure. That's dope as fuck. Mm -hmm. And I seen uh recently you had a, a blog, KQED. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Penn. Hell yeah. That shit's hard, bro. How yeah. You, like you be wiggling in there, bro. Like <laughs> double XL, that's hard as fuck. I, I don't know how double XL happened, but um Penn, uh we we've the, the guy that wrote the article, um, just like a solid person. And um, I think I've known him for a little bit over a year now. He came to like the small show that I had did in SAC. 
Um, and he just, I don't know, you know, he just like really, really embraced me. Hell yeah. Yeah. Where do you perform out here? Where did I perform? It was at Lola's. It's like a... Okay. I, I think I've heard of it. Yeah, like, like a Puerto artists. Rican. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a Puerto Rican. That's dope. Uh, yeah, but they did like a real, real intimate show. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Are those like... Do you get nervous? And are those Are those more nerve-wracking, like the more intimate, or are they less? Um, If I have to do stuff like in preparation for the show, that's like not... That has nothing to do with the music. That shit is kind of nerve wracking. Like what? Like, if I book the other artists. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's yeah. not necessarily nerve wracking, but it's more like I'm having to juggle a lot more. And things. it's in your hands, kind of. Yeah, like, it's all yeah. in my hands. Um, so it just makes me like anxious, trying to make sure that um, everything goes correctly. Um, as far as performing, man, I think I've done it so much, and I've I've performed bad so many times that. I'm not necessarily nervous. It's more just like I want to be able to perfect what I do every time or like get better every time. So like, I don't know, like all the nerves, if, if I have any, it'll go away as soon as I start rapping, like immediately. And um, I'll be fine for the rest of the show. Hell yeah. yeah. That's dope, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, what about your beat selection process? Are you working with like a specific producer or do you just find your beats online? Nah, I don't find beats online. I, um, I really work with a lot of fucking producers. Not a lot, but like, it's a collaborative as fuck. Like, the, the songs that I've been making, like, um, pretty much every single song had at least three different people doing That's different dope. shit. Except, yeah. for, except for, I think, one. But yeah, for the most part, it was like one or Loops, two. Loops, drums, mixing, all yeah, that shit. Yeah, mixing, spread. fucking yeah. guitar, like keys, all types of shit. Hell Singing, yeah. background vocals. Yeah, it's a collaborative process. Are, I you, think, are you in the studio with them while they're cooking up a beat? Uh, Depends. But most of the time, no. Like, I get sent, just because I don't really have a, a lot of time, Um, I get sent a lot of stuff. Hell yeah. So like, that's usually, that's usually like, I really actually rarely have moments where I'm like getting a beat cooked up for me. Okay. Um, I'm also like a weird ass person creatively. I could like listen to a beat that I, that it's like, if you think of L.O.E. Gino, like, damn, bro, he would love this. You feel me? But yeah. when I hear it, I'm like, I know this is tight. I know I would sound tight on it, but for some reason it don't click, click creatively. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. um, I go with something that just sounds completely different than what you would fucking think. You Hell feel yeah. me? Um, so I like, rarely I actually get beats cooked up for me just because like I'm be so finicky. I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling that yeah. day or what I want to get on. No, for sure. Um, sometimes I feel like that. I feel like the beats kind of speak to the artist. Mm-hmm. I, I for sure believe that. It's like sometimes I'm like oh, I want to send this beat to this and so and so. I'm like, as an artist, when I pick a beat, you know when a, you know, that shit's hitting for you mm-hmm. and the. The lyrics just come automatic almost. Yeah, like, exactly. That's so and so when I say I just kinda lean into wherever it goes creatively, that's what I mean. Like yeah. I, I basically search for that feeling and then I don't I don't really look back. Come here. Come here. No, I feel you on that. That's that's uh I definitely relate. I can relate mm-hmm. to that with Shelly. hmm Um tell me a little bit about um your goals. What kind of goals do you have for yourself? Mm. Um, shit, I got like a bunch of goals, right? But just in general, it's just like really just continue to iron out all my kinks um, and really just become a fully functional business. That's it. Like it's, it's so much more, you know, that's like a loaded ass answer. What are, no, it's all good. Uh, mm-hmm. What are some of the, the kinks that you want to iron out? Anything specific? Right now I'm trying to figure out fulfillment on merch. Yeah. Just like making that process easy. Like um, yeah. the production of it is dope. But now it's like getting everything sent out efficiently while having to be at work and yeah. taking care of the baby all the, yeah. you know, all the time. No, so. Definitely. That's a good, that's a solid kink. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that you worked at 106.1. Internship. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you Speak bro. on that a little bit. Speak on that. I, um, I worked there the same summer, the same year they had Summer Jam when uh, Kendrick and J. Cole performed. Oh, legendary. So, bro, like they basically had us report on site at seven in the morning, right? And so at the time, this is an SF, right? This is an yeah. SF. But I was living in Berkeley at the time, so That's I had to get up. Mission. I had to basically get on Bart. I didn't have a car, but so in my head though, I was like, 
You feel me? I'm working at S or at, um, 106 KMEL now. Fuck like, this yeah. shit is hella tight. We'll do, You're we'll in there. That's how I'd be. Bro, like, what, bro? So, so I, I, you know, Summer Jam, whatever, they basically like, it's a mandatory show. Everybody needs to show up. You can't call out or you fired. Like, okay, that makes sense. So I get there at seven in the morning, bro. They was like, if you get caught watching the show, you're fired. Damn. That was what they said. Bro, I worked from seven in the morning until two in the morning without a break. That's crazy. Yeah, and I quit. The next day, I was that's like, fair. Fuck y'all, y'all crazy, bro, for free too. Crazy. Yeah, it was an internship. Damn. Yeah, that shit wasn't cool, bro. That is crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, well, shit. Uh, let me think. What other questions do I have for you? How was it growing up in Berkeley? Um, it was dope. I feel like. It's probably a lot different now, but um, we used to go to a bunch of parties. Um, it's actually a lot different than people. Bro, I would partied assume. out there. Sorry, I just remember. I I was like sixteen and I went to the Cal Berkeley the the frat, the frat houses house yeah. for New Year's, bro. I was hella yeah. young and they were just popping. Champ- I remember I didn't couldn't smell like alcohol, but I'm like I'm like high school. They're spraying yeah, yeah, champagne. Sure, yeah, yeah, we used to we used to go up there and do fat all that. slice. Kids, yeah, fat slice. Going they crazy. closed that. Yeah, sad. Yeah, they closed that. They closed a bunch of fucking staples over there. But, but I'm sorry. Yeah, go on. I but so it, it was cool. Like um, it was a lot different than than um a lot of people would assume. You would either kind of have to be around that area. To know, but it's like, I have friends in the streets, you feel me? Um, Berkeley's so small that it was just like, you kind of see people grow up and start having problems with each other and then like navigating that. Um, and yeah, but other than that though, like the, you know, it was like a real, real fun area to be in. Like we had one of the biggest um, schools in Northern California. So like, Berkeley High, so like it was basically people from all over the Bay Area coming to Berkeley High. Hell yeah. Which was tight. That was cool. That is dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pim Toby is from there. <laughs> yeah. Shout yeah. out Pim Toby. Mm-hmm. He for was sure hard as Berkeley. fuck. Yep. Did you go to school with him? Nah, he's younger than me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's younger than me for sure. What year did you graduate? 2012. Okay. Yeah, yeah 2012. You know, 510 Dre? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's my boy. I balled yeah. with him at Laney. For real? Yeah. I didn't even know he who He played football. Football. Yeah. And then at Davis right here, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, my um, brother shot a couple of his music videos. Yeah, hell yeah. That's my boy. He was like real, real close with my DJ. I'm getting him in here like in a week. For real? Bro, let me know when y'all uh when y'all do it. I'll pull up oh, if, yeah, I'm, if I'm free. Yeah, for sure. Bro's been going crazy on that freestyles out for sure. Like, mm-hmm. we've been tapped in with the music for sure. Um, mm-hmm. But that's, that's dope. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, what do you think about where Northern California music scene is headed? What do you think? I think we're I think we're in a fork in the road and it's like a little bit of a like personal experience and then what I'm seeing but I see like the norm the norm maybe it's like this everywhere but the norm is in a little bit of a box. We got definitely the the EBK wave. I hear a lot of those beats. Then we got a whole another wave of like that 24k golden my boys people singing that shit's hard as fuck and then mm-hmm. we also got like i don't know just with the internet we're expanding i feel like with la we're touching i feel like we are expanding and people are, are starting to fuck with us more mm-hmm. I, like I except can't. bay area music and northern <laughs> california yeah. yeah i um i agree i think um i think I think we need to, to, I don't want to say work together because I feel like everybody supports each other, right? I feel like, or like once you get to a certain space, then, so like in me, in my, in my example, or like in my, you feel me, perspective, um, I don't feel under supported. Yeah. I feel like really, really supported. Um, I think we need more, and it's, and so when I say we, it's kind of hard because you have the internet, so you could create your own outlet. Yeah. Like, you physically could create your own outlet. But um, people that don't have, like, the means, the energy, whatever, whatever, if they aren't able to do that, then it's like we're missing out on so much of, like, so much shit that's happening. You feel me? And so I feel like we need more spaces like this. 
Yeah. Like we need more more people to like, hey, look what's going on over here. I yeah. think we need that a lot like media, more. Media, 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think this I think like what we got, Thizzler. Everybody talks about Thizzler, um, the innovator, but he's like LA based. Yeah, yep. Shout out. Uh, change. Like I actually has I had class with him at no Berkeley shit. High. Yeah, he went, but, um, I know he went to Berkeley High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from, shout he's out to Rich. But, yeah. but um, but um, um, I don't think that they need to do anything. I don't think Thizzler needs to do anything. Yeah. I don't think uh, Innovator needs to do anything. But like you said, things like that media outlets. Yeah, it like just that. needs to be more. Yeah, like we just need more of of um. Just more outlets, like more, oh, yeah. more, more outlets to kind of point people in the right direction as far as like what's going on. Um, I agree with that. That's what yeah. Because I had a talk with with the guy that runs Thizzler, and um, they they play to their audience, and you necessarily can't be mad at that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, <laughs> like, yeah you can't, really, gonna, can't necessarily yeah. be mad at that. They run in a business. Straight up. Um, but. So like they don't have to do anything. You yeah. Feel I mean, they don't necessarily have to post me. They don't have to post anybody that doesn't align with um, people that are gonna feed their tar- target audience or consumers. Yeah. But they shouldn't be the only people. You know that all of that responsibility shouldn't necessarily fall on them. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. And shit, that's I am trying to like open it up a little bit with this and just have. I, I feel like I I agree. Support out here is amazing people are fucking you mm-hmm. know willing to come on here like and share and support and it's fucking been open arms bro even with the beats everything like i, mm-hmm. I took a hiatus and i came back and i feel you on the, the support is here there is support in, mm-hmm. in northern california you know what's crazy is i felt more supported in sat same, not, no, not, no, not like, same, not as far same. as like consumers, but as far as like people that's Artists. helping me run plays. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I agree, bro. Yep, for sure. I agree. I agree with that for sure. Mm-hmm. Sack is dope. Shout out Sack. Mm-hmm. Shout yeah, out it's not man. as bad as I thought it was gonna be, bro. It's cool. <laughs> I was hesitant myself, bro. Yeah, I was a little yeah. nervous, but it's no Sack is dope, bro. I feel like it's a hidden gem. The food out here, there's hella yeah, it's fire. food, for bro. Sure. It for sure is. I agree. What's some of your favorite foods? Uh, like out here, any restaurants in particular? Yeah, I like. Kiki's, I oh, like smacking. fixings, I like um, Chando's, I fuck with... Chando's fire. Any Thai spots? No, I haven't. You gotta go heard coconut on tea, bro. Get the I heard yellow that. curry shit so Yeah, I heard of that, I heard of that. And their yeah. chicken wings go crazy. Yeah. Indian food too, Bombay, fuck, smacking. Yeah, no, yeah. I, um, I deliver there. They be, me, they be giving me food, free food every single time I go over there on 21st. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That yeah. shit smacking, yeah. bro. Yeah, hell yeah, that that's shit my hell spot. I'm damn near here that shit tonight, but. Yeah, yeah. that shit fire. Hell um, fire. Also, too, like, Sack got a cool-ass nightlife. Like, people in the Bay Area talk about how how much the nightlife um, sucks. I don't know, because I don't go out in the Bay Area. You, you been to me? Spoon Tonics? No, I don't go out out here either. Yeah. But. The times that I have went out, it's like really, really fucking fun. Like people, like the beard train or whatever the fuck it's yeah, called. Yeah, like yeah. Beer shit. garden and uh, there's like you could bar hop. You feel me around like a bunch of different K places. Street and K, K Street, Street. Yeah. yeah, rooftop. You yeah. got Tiger if you're in the clubs. Mm-hmm. I'm not. A, I don't drink and I don't go to clubs either. But I've I've been in the past mm-hmm. and that shit is hella lit. Yeah, it's hella right. fun. It's always a good time, bro. Yeah, for sure. And then I was just because I don't go out in the bay. I would hit like Walnut Creek downtown, but uh. mm-hmm. bro, Martin, I had a couple cool nights in Martinez, oh, Martinez though. Goes lit. Like Shout in that little pocket. Brew? Yeah, yeah, in yeah, Walmart yeah. parking lot. Yeah, that's where I'm finna drop my my uh, album listening party, bro. It's gonna be a yeah. Let you me know slide. when, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, let me no, know that's when. Just, I'm gonna get that I'm shit lit. Carpool. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to slide because I was thinking I might even do it here at Kick and Mule. Have you mm-hmm. been there? It's like no, a little, I heard of it though. Yeah, it's like a like chicken wing. I watched the Super Bowl there. I like that. It's a yeah. chill vibe, hella close. So I was like, I don't know if I'm finna do it out here or at, in Martinez. I haven't decided yet, but mm-hmm. hell yeah. Did you have an album listening party or like drop any little get together? Nah, I wanted to. Um, I am for this next one though. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, nah, we just threw the show, which was dope. That's dope. Where, where was that at? It was at La Pina. Okay. It's a, a venue in Berkeley. But it wasn't really like that show was kind of planned before I even had. Um, the idea to drop a project. Okay. And I was just like, well, fuck, I could just drop a project right before the show. I got the music anyway. So, Hell yeah. yeah. Actually, that's really why I decided to drop a project was to promote the show. Genius. And then it kind of flip-flopped. It was like, the show went along with the project. Yeah. That stuff was fucked though, bro. Hell yeah. 
You're going crazy. Yeah, appreciate you. We got to get you on the double XL freestyle, bro. <laughs> For <laughs> real, yeah. bro. If they sure, already, already looking at you, you know, like. Yeah, I don't, that shit is crazy. I don't not know too how that happened. Off, bro. That, that is crazy, crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. But obviously, like, people are watching and people are listening, you know? Yeah, I'm grateful. Shit, I've, you know, I've been through a lot with it. Um, and I'm not going nowhere. For sure, I got too much music to go. Anywhere. How often, how long does it take you, and like, how often are you making a song from start to finish? Like, beat, lyrics, recorded, and then mix, mastered, and sent out. Like, how often and how long does that take? Uh, I always put my mixing off to the last minute. I wish I didn't, but um, shit, it could take like, and I'm so fast with recording, so like, it could really just be like, hey. So I'm basically in the situation that I'm in. I basically call my, you know, uh, Chico, bro, that record me. I'm like, hey, bro, like, I just kind of got the itch with this song. Bro. Can I, you feel me, get like 15, 20 minutes? And he's like, yeah, bro, come on. Um, so, yeah, like, as far as me recording and writing a song, that shit could happen in 35 minutes. Like, it'd be Hell quick. Yeah. Like, writing and then the song is recorded 35 minutes later. Nice. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. And let's say, like, I know you said you don't have any like musical influences right now, but what about like favorite artists? Do you have like a top five favorite artists? Like maybe even not right now, but growing up or all time? Mm, top five. Um, I go J. Cole is my top. Legend. Yeah. I um I used to have Kendrick first, but um I feel like J. Cole has done the work. So, like, J. Cole has, like, always been my favorite rapper. Okay. Right? But I would have to put Kendrick first just based off of, like, just, like, off, like almost, like, off respect. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like no, the stuff fair. that he was doing, it was way more innovative than things that I felt like J. Cole was doing. But now I feel like it's vice versa. I feel like J. Cole been rapping his ass off. So, it's like, I go J. Cole, Kendrick, um... Nas. Messi Mar. And then... Damn, I don't know. This shit could change depending on who I'm listening to. Um, Nip. Nipsey Hussle. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I've been watching his uh, motivation videos lately, mm-hmm. just like when I'm on a down day. Yeah, bro, that should be tough that like, I, I used to literally go on the internet and just kind of scour for his videos, like whenever he'd be on like a press run or like Fuck yeah, his all his interviews, interviews bro, like that. so yeah. many gems, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I listen, I feel like I've watched all of them. Him and Kobe are two people that I've watched all their yeah, shit. Yeah, same, bro. Because like, sure. he ha- that shit... Uh, some days I'm tired. I don't feel like making a beat. You know, I was like, all right, I gotta watch Kobe, and he'll get me up. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit is crazy. And Nip is one as well. Yeah, that's hard. That's a good ass uh, lyrical. That's a lyrical top five. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, um, it's I I, I love and appreciate all music, but um, the stuff that I can just consistently kind of open up to and listen to, you know, take in consistently, I gotta be able to take something from it. Hell yeah. And I always been like that. Yeah, yeah, always been like that. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So like I, I'll listen to like the quote unquote mumble rap and all yeah. of that. I like, listen to it, it's slap. Yeah, yeah, but it's like like for stuff that you feel me. I still need to also be like a human and actually like process things and be able to think. So like yeah, I always got to be able to take some take something away. Fuck yeah, who's mm-hmm. uh who's one artist you want to work with like off top? If you could work with anyone. Tim's, yeah, she like probably my favorite singer. I don't even think I'm, I'm familiar. I For real, she yeah. sing that song five in the morning. Oh I wake yeah, up to, yeah, that's just like hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, probably Tim's. That's hard. Mm-hmm. What about you? Fuck. I would say either burner. Or Andre Nicotina. Andre Nicotina. I feel like we sure. would have a... My flow just matches their flows, kind of like a slower monotone kind mm-hmm. of flow. Hell yeah. So, some D-boy shit. I feel like I could just like mm-hmm. vibe with that. I feel like those two, we would 
I'm big fans. They're both in my top five as well. But yeah, that's fine. I, I feel like we've wrapped the same as well. I think we can make some hits. Mm-hmm. I'm getting there one day. I'll cash out both of them once I get my bread right. <laughs> for real, I'll cash them both out. I need a I need a, a burner tape and I need. A, I wonder how much they charge. Andre's like retired down there. He did his final show ever. Oh yeah, bro's like yeah, sixty. I did see that. Yeah, so he's like, but I was still I feel like I feel like here for sure still for the right price. I'll right. throw you to the like imagine that in like five years coming out with Andre. People are like, what the fuck, Andre Nicotina, Young for Long and Andre Nicotina. <laughs> right. I need that and Burner. I'm for, I'm for sure get with both of them for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. But I think like I think that shit would be hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. And the people like that, I feel like their fans are would fuck with me because it's the same style. Mm-hmm. But it's my own twist. Yeah. What about um, cannabis? Does it play any role in your shit? Has it, has it ever? Uh, it's funded a lot of shit. I don't smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm same. like one of those I, people. I don't smoke either. Yeah, I'm like one of those people that that I grew up around weed my entire life. Bro, I used to grow weed in humble. Like my no family, shit. they grew up there for 20 years. No shit. So I like grew up back and forth to the farm. No shit. Like. I've been, and, um, I've been out there, like, bro. I used to live shit. out there, like, shit in the middle crazy. of nowhere, like, shirt off, yeah. fucking drinking beers, riding around. Generator on quads. lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to really like. I, I got all my hill stripes. What we used to call them. I really used to be like a part of, like, that humble mountain, you like, know, in uh, the middle of nowhere. Nando Dope Boys. Have you heard of them? They sound kind of familiar. They're, they're they're like a grow, growers rap group. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's right. But go on. You were, you were living. Um, you grew up in humble. I like grew up back and forth to humble. Like, like. But you never um, smoked. Never smoked, bro. Never? Like, I, no, I've smoked. It just never was for me. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, just never. I don't know why. Like, I never was able to like get into it. I necessarily. I never liked the way that it made me feel like that. Never but, a stoner. Never, bro. That's I never crazy. had that moment. Yeah, but but it was like I always have had access to weed, yeah. like for free. You yeah. feel me? Um, just based off of like. Who I know, so like, I I used to sell like a lot of weed, and then um, one of my homeboys he started a like an actual cannabis brand. I used to sell to dispensaries for him yeah. while not smoking. You feel That's me? Good. Like, which Profit was interesting. Margins are higher though. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like, your own product, shit. but like for some reason, bro, I never was able to get into it. Never was able to, and I always wanted to for real. Like, I, I wanted to see what you know, like what. What the benefits were like not every time did it make me feel good yeah but it was like never i used to i remember i like smoke and it's like damn this shit cool you feel me and then i smoke again it'd be like the worst time of my life yeah. like, i don't even know how to explain it you can't swallow your dying yeah i'd be like right hell no like, uh, like no i'm uh, dying like, right now yeah. but but um like me remembering those bad times that I used to have when I would smoke, it's like, oh yeah, I don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? It's not even a reason for me to. Yeah. What about um do you have any vices like like that? Anything you do? Uh like as far as substances? Yeah. Like nah. I um I drink every now and then. Um Coffee. I drink a oh, lot. Oh yeah, I be fuck, bro. Caffeine, I just feel fucking. I'm on the same. Yeah, road. bro. You got on, yeah, I can get you a cup. I damn near need me a yeah, cup, I got bro. You. Good. Yeah, I, I got a, I got a mob out in a minute too. Yeah, like, but um, but yeah, bro. Like coffee. I'm like a real, real big coffee drinker. Connoisseur, huh? Yeah, connoisseur. Bro, bro, put me on to the grinding the beans and shit. Yeah, like, we got a, we got a like a fucking thousand dollar espresso machine in my crib. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm like. My girl goes crazy. I'm not. Still on the fucking regular shit, but yeah, yeah, appreciate yep, it. It's all good. I just made that one too. Yep, it's good. Um, but yeah, bro, coffee, coffee goes crazy. I fuck with it. Yeah, hell yeah. I throw the cinnamon in my grounds too. I was gonna say it tastes like um, Cafe de Hoya. I think. Low key. I, yeah. After I went to Mexico, I just went to Mexico for like two weeks in January, and they were sipping that shit, and I, I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. That shit's fire. That shit hella good. This is good. That's a good. Hell cup. yeah. But um. Yeah, brother. Anything else you want to touch on? Uh, nah. Man. Any Thank shout you outs? for having me. Shout yeah. out to everybody that's shouting me out. You feel me? Um, I just plan on staying consistent, man. I just plan on moving forward with the good things that's happening and um, the good things that's happening ain't even the goals. You feel me? So yeah. it's like it's just it's kind of all a part of the process. I just plan on going. Like I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm. I'm gonna just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And. Yeah, I appreciate um, you, you know, opening up and allowing me to 
to get my point of view on yeah. things and et cetera. That shit means a lot. No, for sure, bro. I appreciate you sliding, bro. This is it's a mutual, bro. We gotta keep this shit going. Like mm-hmm. you said, open up more outlets for And I'm out here too, bro. Uh shit, yeah, we don't no, gotta, for sure. Gotta, I'm trying to make that next tape, bro. Yeah. I gotta send you a beat pack <laughs> real quick. <laughs> on, bro. I'm say, I'm a, I, we could we don't gotta turn the cameras on. I'll just pull up, bro. You Hell feel yeah, me? Pull up. No. I, um I have a content set in my garage. Oh no shit. Yeah, so that's kind of what I've been that's where I've been doing like a lot of the stuff that I've been What is it? What out. is it? What is it? Uh mostly just seamless paper. Um, okay. Seamless paper, and I'm I'm working on building a um, a neon wall. Hell yeah! Yeah, man. and a couple different things to basically swap out and bulk create content. That's hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that. Yep. Let's go. Well, Leo Gino, <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Young Falong, K Global, we out.